New details on the Army's plan to cut 40,000 troops over the next two years. The cuts would affect all domestic and foreign, foreign Army posts. Eyewitness News Analyst Lieutenant General Reginald Centracchio is here to talk about future moves. General, what's the reason for this move here? This particular move is based upon what was announced a few years ago. $50 billion cut over the next 10 years. This is the first phase of that. At this juncture, it only involves the active Army, 40,000 troops, and several bases across the world. Uh, the impact significantly, of course. Uh, the concern is whether, in fact, it will continue. And I think that's uh, something we need to look to uh, perhaps in the next several months. Or so. I know you talked to the Guard today. It does not affect the Rhode Island National Guard now. You're right. It does not affect the Guard right now. But should sequestration, sequestration uh, continue, that will affect the Guard because it will go down from 350,000 down around maybe 315 or 320. That will affect Rhode Island because we will lose some force structure, unfortunately. It will not affect the base at this particular point, but at the same time, it will involve civilians and any impact having to do with the economy of the state is a concern. All right, we're talking about 17,000 civilians. We're also seeing expansion general over at uh, Quonset Point for the new simulator. Now, would that be the subject of cuts, even though they're expanding at Quonset? You know, unfortunately, I can't say yes or no, but at the same time, I've been involved in several times in the past where they have, in, in fact, as the missile program was concerned back in the 70s. We were building a brand new uh, configuration for the missiles. They shut us down, but they continued to build. So the concern is whether, in fact, that that program would involve Quonset, which unlikely it won't. But if it does, it has no effect on what's been either expanded or improved upon. It depends upon the money that's made available by the Congress to the several branches. All right, General, thank you for more. And what the General has to say, you can go to our website, WPRI.com.